welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a new one I got in today. I've been kind of playing around with it, experimenting with it, testing the longevity, testing the projection on it. This is a cheap one. It's ran me, I think it's still around $14, 15 bucks on Amazon. This is Nautical Life. Nautical Life Energy. There we go there. That's the box. Nautical Life Energy. Pretty cool box. Blue and white light. Nautical Energy there on top. Got the seal. Barcode and all that stuff to the bottom. That's about it for the box. The baller got like a little, like an orange scroll running through there. Uh, top just got Nautica on it. Got the seal on top. It's got this is like a chrome itemizer. Nothing special about it, but the ball is cool with the orange scroll in there. I'm going to show you guys the spray. Sprays very good there. All right. Top fits pretty tight. As you can see, you can hold the ball by the top. Okay, what does it smell like? Now, this here, when you first blast it to the skin, I'm going to get it to the projection first. Uh, it, proje it projects really good for the first, I would say, the first hour and a half to two hours. It give a really good projection. Um, I would say the longevity on this fragrance. Now, just testing around, playing around with it. You'll get somewhere between four and six hours. And y'all know I'm not a big fan when it comes to longevity. I always believe in just taking it and spraying it again. It's got like an orange dot there. So you can't miss where you're supposed to spread it right there. It's got an orange dot. So you can't miss it. It's just like it's lit up right there. All right. So just knock it back up there. Now, I'll give you guys a ballpark. Oh, about how long this fragrance lasts. Uh, like I said, four to six hours of longevity. Now, the thing about this fragrance, I couldn't find too many reviewers really talked about this one. They talked about Nautical Life, which I already have. Um, I ain't seen too many reviewers talking about Nautical Life Energy. And a uh, few of them didn't really say what it smelled like. The one I did looked at. Uh, I think... Uh, so another guy did. He did a good job talking about it, though. I think his name. I think his name is T. L. Something. I can't think his name, but he did a good job talking about it. And I think he was about the only one that talked about it, and I kind of went by what he said. His name is T. L. T. L. Something. Anyway, he did a good job talking about this fragrance. And uh, here, man, uh, this thing smells good. Now, what it kind of reminds me of. Uh, is it reminds me a little bit of it kind of got the DNA of the, of the original nautical life a little bit but then again then it turns to the left a little it reminds me a little bit of, of Aqua Dijo Absolute it's got that vibe it's kind of like a little bit of Aqua Dijo Absolute mixed in with uh, a little bit of Still get kind of like a Blue Day Chanel smell to it, but not exactly. Curbs to more of a, of a aqua, more of an aqua Dijon absolute. Now, this scent is very powerful, in my opinion. It's powerful, guys. Almost like a powerhouse fragrance. It's very good. Slightly sweet. Not very sweet, <laughs> but slightly sweet, though. You know? Smell really good. You can classify this as kind of sweet fragrance. But, um, yeah, still got that vibe, that DNA of the original Nautical Life with just a little twist. But I think they, it's possible that they could have sweetened it up a little bit. I'm not for sure. But the vibe I, I'm getting a little is an Aqua Dijo Absolute. It's got that vibe a little bit to it. That's exactly what I smell. Um, with that sweet, it's got a slight sweetness to it. 
Now, the best time to rock this fragrance, I would say you can wear it casual. It's going to smell good, but at 14, 15 bucks, I wouldn't waste it casual. <laughs> Even though it's not the most expensive in the world, but $15, $15, you know, uh, it's still, in my opinion, it's too expensive to be wearing around the house, you know. I would say this to wear on a date night with a night out with your wife, your girlfriend, you're going out to eat dinner, going out just shopping, going out just riding around, just having fun or whatever. That's when I wear this. Even though you can wear this casual if you want to, I really don't recommend it because I would want to save it <laughs> for the, you know, the good times when I go out. I wouldn't want to just wear this around the house still, even though it doesn't cost for 14, 15 bucks. Still, 14, 15 bucks is 14, 15 bucks. You know, it's still waste. That's wasting a lot of money just to wear it around the yard or whatever, you know, in my opinion, still. So, yeah, you want to, it's kind of leathery a little bit too. That's why it's reminding me of Aqua Dijo Absolute. Uh, Aqua Dijo something. <laughs> It's, as a dry down, remind you of the original Aqua Dijo. It's got that Aqua Dijo vibe written all over. Put it like that. It smells good though. It does. It still reminds me of Aqua Dijo. Um, it's 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 a little bit of the original Aqua Dijo combined in there with a little bit of Blue Day Chanel, then combined in there with Aqua Dijo Absolute. That's what I get. But as it settles, you get more of the original Aqua Dijon with a little bit of sweetness to it. As it settles now, I'm talking about, I've been on your skin for maybe five or ten minutes. You get that vibe. It smells really good, though. Highly recommend it, though. It smells amazing, guys. If you never had it, give it a try. It's not like a life energy. I don't want to hold you guys too long because I got another video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And until next time, y'all stay tuned for my next video. I'm out of here. Peace.